Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2024. This is the solution video to paper one, question eight. So in question eight, we're told that a clothing company sells t-shirts. The daily sales of t-shirts over a 360 day period can be modeled using the following function, t of x, uh, where x is between zero and 360, and t of x is equal to x minus 240 over 60 to the power of three plus 70. Fill in the table below showing the value of t of x for each of the given values of x. Uh, two have been filled in. So you just need to sub in uh, each of these values into your calculator um, to get this. Or you can use the function um, formula and you could do steps of 60, whichever suits yourself. So you get 6, 62, 69, 70 and 71 for those values there. Part two, uh, draw the graph of y equal to tx and the x is below. Um, so that's simply doing all these points here. So we have 0, 60, which is, uh, oh, sorry, 0, 6, rather, 0, 6, which is there. We have uh, 60, 43, which is about here. We have 120, 62, which is around about there. 180, 69, which is about there. 240, 70, which is about there, 371, around about there, and then 360, 78, which is around about there. And to draw the graph, you also have to join the dots. And very important when you're joining these dots that you use a curve and not line segments. So if you, if you do line segments, you will only get nine marks where you should be getting 10. So by line segments, I mean, if you were to just join these two with a line and then join these two with a line and join these two with a line, you won't get the full marks. So you have to do a nice smooth curve. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be a curve. So the clothing company also sells scarves. The daily sales of scarves can be modeled using the following function, S of T which is a periodic function with a period of 365 days. So this is over the course of a year. You can see there's the function, it's a cause function. And you can see that uh, after zero days, so in January, they're selling quite a few scarves. And then obviously in summer, they're not selling many. And as it comes back into the winter, they sell more. Uh, work out the minimum, uh, sorry, the maximum and minimum daily sales of scarves according to S of T. So the minimum is gonna be in here and the maximum is, uh, these points here, they'll both give you the same maximum. You do not need to use differentiation for this. Um, there's an easier way to do it. Well, we know that cos function has a maximum and a minimum. Uh, so cos of x has a max and a min between uh, minus one and one. So we can just sub in minus one to get the minimum and uh, one to get the maximum. So that'd be 21 plus, uh, this bit here is gonna be one, so plus 19 times one. So that gives us a maximum of 40. And then for the minimum, it's 21 plus 19 times minus one. So that's 21 minus 19 is two. So maximum 40, minimum two. A different function, C of T, can also be used to model the daily sale of scarves, where C of T is equal to S of T minus 2.4 plus 0 0.03 T. So uh, S of T being the function from earlier on. Again, T is an element of OR. Uh, it's the time in days from the 1st of January, and T is greater than zero, and two pi T over 365 is in radians. Find the value of t for which s of t and c of t give the same number of daily scarves. So that means c of t is equal to s of t. So when are they equal to each other? Well, c of t is this. So I'm just going to write it as uh, c of t. I'm going to put s of t just on the left hand side. And then I'll put the, the C of T here because you'll see it will just uh, work out a bit easier. So C of T is this. So S of T minus 2.4 plus 
0 0.03t. So now I have s of t is equal to s of t minus this. So that means s of t is cancel out with each other. Um, and then that leaves me with uh, 1 is equal to 1. Sorry, rather. That leaves me with 0 is equal to minus 2.4 plus 0 0.03t. So numbers one side, t is the other, 0 0.03t is equal to 2.4 so t is equal to 2.4 divided by 0 0.03 which is 80 days so 80 days after the first of january is the day which they give the same number of sales on to part d so part d the graphs j k and l are shown below they're not to scale um, so here's j linear function, uh, k is some sort of trigonometric function and then l it looks like some sort of trigonometric function that is increasing. One of these graphs uh, shows the function ct over a number of years where ct is equal to that. Write down which graph it is and justify your answer. So the answer is l, it's this one, okay, because the function ct is a tr trigonometric function. Uh, S of t is the trigonometric part from before and then this bit is a linear function with a positive slope. So what we say is that just for the justification S of t is trigonometric. So that means it looks like this. Uh, minus 2.4 plus 0 0.03t is linear. So that means it looks uh, also with a positive slope. M is 0 0.03, so it's a positive slope like that. If we combine the two of them, combined, we have a trigonometric that's increasing. So we have this. So that is graph L. That's worth 15 marks. There's a bit of a bit of working out in that, and you know, you really have to be clear on your justification and give the three parts of it to get your full 15 marks. Part E then, the last part of this question. Um, the derivative of C of T is given by the C prime of T is equal to 0 0.03 minus 38 pi over 365 sine 2 pi t over 365 find the value of t that gives the first local maximum of c that is the first time that c prime of t is equal to zero and give your answer next correct to the nearest day so they've given us c prime of zero there it is we just or c prime of t we just need to let it equal to zero and then solve for t so that is 0 0.03 minus 38 pi over 365 sine 2 pi t over 365 equal to 0. So there's a bit of work in this. Um, I'm going to isolate this bit here. That's the only bit with the t. So I'll subtract this from both sides and then divide both sides by this. I can do that all in one go to get sine of 2 pi t over 365 is equal to minus 0 0.03 divided by minus 38 pi over 365. <clears throat> then I want to go and figure out what uh, t is. So I need to get this t out of this sine function. So I'll get sine inverse of that there. So sine inverse of minus 0 0.03 over minus 38 pi over 365 is equal to that bit there, 2 pi t over 365. And you don't need to go working out um, everything straight away. You don't need to work out this side. 
but it might be beneficial to work out this bit now. So this bit is equal to, if you pop it into the calculator, it's equal to 0 0.09185. So just to say that that there is equal to that. So then to get T on its own, T is gonna be equal to 0 0.09185. I'm going to divide by 2 pi and I'm going to multiply by 365 and that should give me the answer there of if you pop that into your calculator you get 5.336 to the nearest day which is equal to 5 days. Okay, so that is the end of question eight. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.